Hey guys, I'm Kay and welcome to the Music Lounge. Today I'd like to show you something that you don't see all too often. A friend of mine brought this one in today because he's got a problem with it. Now this is one of the Les Paul Moderns. They make them in three colors. They make them in black, red, and this is the Pelham Blue, which is actually my favorite. This is his guitar and it's a, well, lock and tuners. It's a 2021, early 2021. He always takes good care of this, but still something that he doesn't like happened to the guitar. So, and it has to do with the way these necks are specced out. So they have ebony fingerboards, but they don't have the binding coming over the edges of the frets, so-called fret nips. So, yeah, I can already feel it. It's got fret sprout and it's got it pretty bad. So let me show you. Let me just sit the camera down a bit real quick and make it focus in a good angle. There we go. Okay, so look, I'm gonna use a pick so that I, so that I don't damage the finish. But you're gonna hear it here. You're gonna hear the edge that's poking out here grab against the edge of the pick here. So listen. Can you hear that? And it's actually worse on this side. And the fret sprout is 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 actually yeah. This side is not too bad. This is pretty bad. And the further up the neck you go, the worse it gets. It's pretty terrible over here. Now, I don't have one of those socks that Phil McKnight uses, but I'm gonna use a regular tissue and I'm gonna run it along the edges of the fretboard and press down on it. And I think it's gonna get shredded. So I'm gonna show you how bad this is. So let's look at it. Yeah, can you see it? Destroyed. So, yeah. Anyway, so now um, the way I like to I like to treat this is using the tape method as described by Phil McKnight. So, I'm going to apply tape over the side to protect the binding and to make the um, frets sprouting um, pop out more. So I'm going to apply that. Hang on just a second. I'm going to show it to you. So here's the tape, thin painter's tape going the full length of the fretboard. There you go. Maybe let me find a better camera angle. So there you go. Let me just get a good detail on this. Look, and the tape is going to make it pop out real good. Can you see the frets, the edges of the frets? Here it's pretty bad. Here it's pretty bad. This is not that bad. And here again, really bad, really bad. So the way I like to do this is exactly how Phil McKnight teaches it. And that is grab a file and then slowly and very, very gently work these edges and file them down. And you don't want to go too far, too deep so that you would damage tape and the finish underneath. So that's what I'm going to do to uh, make my friend happy and help him with this problem. And uh, oops, I touched my mic there. Sorry. And I hope this video was helpful to you. And even Gibsons are not immune to fret sprout if they don't have fret nips. So thanks again for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, Please do like, comment, and subscribe so that I can all see you in the next one. Peace out.